Hey everybody, we're back with another break video here. Uh, this time we've got three uh, repack hockey boxes from Fairfield Company. Uh, they are a division of Excel Marketing. Uh, if that'll focus. Get these out of the background. Anyway, uh, Excel is the company that stocks Target's cards. Um, and they started the Fairfield company to sell uh, stuff like these repackaged products. So the reason I got these, uh, this pack here has uh, Patrick Line, um, Mitch Marner, and uh, Matt Barzell, Young Guns. This is a, I've never opened Artifacts. Uh, that's a 2018. Then this one, uh, this is Austin Matthews. Uh, rookie year young gun pack. This one here is um, Elias Pettersson, Rasmus Dahlin. And then this one, another Austin Matthews young gun possibility. And then 1819 Platinum is uh, Elias Pettersson. So I will rip into these, um, see what packs are in all of them. You get 10 packs. Uh, and that, uh, that's a jumbo, actually, of the Matthews year. So you get a young gun, one in every four, I think. Yep, one in four. Uh, I don't know if that'll focus on the odds, but the young guns are one in four. Uh, a couple sc a score and a pro set hockey pack. I don't even know if I'll open those. Um, so you do you do get some junk in these. So the 1819 Platinum, so that's a good one. Um, these are cool. Oh yeah, 1718 Series 2, wow, look at all these. These are, uh, these are actually, so what we've got here, these are okay, these will have young guns. These I'm not so sure. Um, because they're five card packs. Uh, actually, <laughs> well, they do have young guns, but they're. It, oh no, they do. One in six packs. These are, I think these are dollar store packs because there's only five cards. And then a couple MVP packs. So, okay. Open the next one. Sorry, these things are. They really pack these things, like glue them real tight. But anyway, if you're a hockey fan, uh, these things are nice because they provide a pretty good chance at, at pulling some good young guns. So, looks like it's going to be almost the same configuration here. We've got the jumbo pack with the chance at the Austin Matthews. So now we've got two of those. Same score pro set packs. And let's see. Now this is a eight card pack. Eight card, so 2018 series one, 2017 series two, two eight card packs. Two of those five card packs again, and two MVP. So almost, almost the same breakdown. So the previous one had the platinum. We got another one of those, another one of those, two of those. So the only difference was the eight card 2018 versus the platinum. And let's see what this last one has. So I'm already loving this because there's, I'll, I mean, almost all the packs here have a chance at a young gun, which is great. Yeah, we got, so this is very similar. We've got the Jumbo of uh, 1617 Series 2, same two score and pro set packs. We got this Artifacts, couple eight card packs of 1718 Series 2, 
This is new. 910 Opeachy. Don't really care about that. So this one wasn't as good because it had that Opeachy in it. Um, this is a five card pack and then the two MVPs. So the Opeachy and the Artifacts. Um, I don't really care so much about those. Um, but we've got... So here's everything we got. 1819 Series 1, 2, uh, 1718 Series 2, and these are all 8 card packs. And we got the 1617 and the Platinum. So that's not bad. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 of the 1819 Series 1, 2 Series 2. We got six of those, two of those, one of those. So a lot of chances at decent young guns. So I'm not going to open the score of the pro set. I'll, I'll probably just give those away um, when I sell stuff on eBay. Um, I guess oops, down goes a pack. I guess I'll open these. Um, I don't know. I'll probably save those for last. So let's dig in. Let's do this platinum first. I'm gonna push those off screen so we can we can focus better here. So we got a Matt Barzell, a throwback rookie, a Brett Hall, and a Noah Juleson rookie. So a couple rookies, nothing too great in there, but not bad. I really like Platinum. Um, we'll start with the more recent stuff. So we'll do these 1819 Series 1 uh, five card packs first. Matt Murray. The Kaiser, uh, Young Gun, Veselinen. So that's pretty good. I mean, they're one in six packs, and we got Dadanov and Ahishir. So we got one Young Gun, so we're one for one. That's pretty good to get them out of the five card pack uh, because they're one in one in six odds in those. In the eight card packs, they are one in four. So all base in that one. All right. So we got one more five card pack of the eighteen nineteen series one. Portraits insert of Duchesne. So one young gun out of three packs. Not bad beat the odds. Let's see what this eight card of the 18 19 series one holds. Hopefully we get a young gun. Start off with Eichel. Let's see if we can focus here. Yep. Portrait, Stamkos. So you know when you get an insert uh, you're not getting a young gun. All right, so that's the end of 1819 Series 1. So now we will do 1819 Series 2. Got a canvas here. Not a young gun. Morgan Riley canvas. Larson Niederreiter. And the second pack of these. All base. So, struck out on those. That's okay. Now we will move on to... We had six of these, the 1718 Series 2. 
I, uh, I don't know who the key rookies are in this series. Uh, so we'll just see what we get here. Johnny Oduya. There's one. Luke Coonan. Young Gun. Like seeing that. Brian Elliott, Auntie Ranta, a marquee rookie of Coonan, that's funny, a peachy uh, marquee rookie. So we've got Coonans in both packs. Delzato, Kishir Portrait, uh, Rookie, but those aren't, uh, those aren't all that desirable. Portraits are one of the, the lower end inserts. Third pack, halfway through the 1718 Series 2s. Hurdle, Leonard, Clefmon. There's a Jack Rodwild, Rodwald, Young Gun. So not a big name, but an, a Young Gun nonetheless. So that'll work. That's what we're looking for. This is going to be an all base pack. You don't see that very often. It's usually an insert per pack. But it happens. Canvas Young Gun of Samuel Blaze. That's cool. Plot Green, Granlin, Howard. Um, yeah, those uh, canvas young guns are not uh, not super easy pulls. They are one in forty eight packs, so um, kind of cool to to hit one of those. If it'll focus up. There we go. I always like the canvas cards. All right, uh, so we'll do these. Get a chance at an Austin Matthews here. That would be nice. Eichel portraits. And that might be it. <laughs> I think the rest is going to be base. Uh, Hosa. Yep. That's what I don't like about these uh, jumbo packs is you, know, you get a lot of cards. It's, uh, how many cards is it? 32 cards, but uh, not, you know, it's all base. So. See if we can get a young gun out of this one. I mean, one in four chance. We're opening two. We have a decent, decent chance of pulling one. Let's focus here. There we go. I don't think we're even going to get a uh, insert or anything in here. Yeah, unless I missed it. Yeah. That checklist is just considered base, so there was nothing in that one. So that's a bummer. All right, on to this one. This this is actually 
my favorite pack out of this whole thing because of the possibilities of the young guns in here. Three big names, Marner, uh, Line A. These are a little bit stuck, actually. Oh boy, that's crazy. Not that old, but yeah, they got stuck a little bit. Uh, Mourner, Line A, and Barzell in this one. Possibility. And a Shea Weber OPG. So, not great. Alright, so the two, two best packs in here did not yield any young guns, so that's a bummer. Um, let's see now what's in this artifacts, 1819. Brock Besser on the front there. Oh, look, that says blasters right on the back. If you can, yeah, see. So they open blasters and, and throw the loose packs in these repacks. But that's a good way to, to get rid of some blasters that aren't selling. Stall, Weber, Taves, Quick, Brown, all base. We'll do this uh, Opeachy. I don't think I've ever opened one of these. Nabokov, Checklist, Johnny Bauer, Legend, George Peros, Keith Yandel, Curtis Mac McElhaney. Man, these are old. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how old. They're 0910. Yeah. So that'll, yeah. I was going to say, Keith Yandel is a coyote. That's That's been a while ago. Uh, I don't even know if we should open these. Five cards per pack. Eh, what the hell. You came here to watch me open packs, so let's open them. I'm going to open them all up and then just go through them. And I can always give away the cards uh, when I sell stuff on eBay. This one, so this one is different. It's foil, where these are like paper. So I don't know what the difference in the two packs is, because they're, they're both five card packs, but they're... Hmm. Yeah, so this one's foil too. So they have two different wrapper styles here. I don't know if some of these came out of... Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what's going on, and I'll show you. Yep, so the foil pack says blasters and the other one doesn't. So this is probably a gravity feed or Lucy and and that one's out of blasters. So Alright, let's see if we land anything at all in here. Oh that's cool. I like these cards. Player credentials, Connor McDavid. That's pretty cool. I'm a fan of how those look. I mean, they just look like an ID or something, but cool cards. Let's refocus here. Come on. There we go. Roman Yossi silver signature. Yep. Backwards card. Oh, some kind of puzzle. I don't know enough about uh, MVP, but some kind of puzzle back with Brad Marchand. And then it's Andrew Shaw. Okay, so that's that. All right, so just the the highlights here. We did pull 
one, two, three, four young guns. I don't think the camera wants to focus on these. So yeah, there it focused. So the Vesselinen, the Kunin, the Roadwald, Rodewald, the Blaze uh, canvas, and then we got that Connor McDavid. A um, few other inserts. We did get the the Platinum, a couple rookie cards out of Platinum. So not terrible for what was this? These are twelve bucks each, so thirty six dollars. These I'm going to give away to somebody with eBay purchases. I, I mean, you know, this you can get Martin Brodeur's rookie. I mean, it's it's loaded. Uh, 90 score, well, in pro set as well, uh, with great rookies, but they're not worth anything. So I'd rather just give them away to somebody. But anyway, this is already a really long video, so <laughs> thanks for sticking with me. Hope you enjoyed it and saw that, you know, you can get something good out of these repacks. They're definitely worth it, especially at only $12 for 10 packs. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.